Okay, for these problems, I'm going to find the halfway point. I'm going to find the line that goes through those two, and I'm going to use a negative reciprocal and go through that halfway point to get the line that cuts them through. So here we go. First one, find the halfway point. For these two, you can see halfway point is going to be right here. And again, I'm looking at a line connecting those two. Halfway point is going to be right there. So start with that. Halfway point. Next, see what that line is if it was to go through those points. So if I drew a point through those, the slope of that line, don't worry so much about the y-intercept, but the slope you see is over 2, up 1. That has a slope of 1 half. Negative reciprocal is the slope for a perpendicular line. So a perpendicular line coming in at a 90 degree angle to that is going to have a slope of negative 2 over 1. So what I do, start at that halfway point and then use that slope and let's fix that. Again, use the halfway point, use that slope that you got, the negative reciprocal, to come up with a line. So the halfway point is right here. To get a line perpendicular to those, I have to come in at a negative 2 over 1 slope. So over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2. Be able to stair step the opposite direction. And you can see that that line would be y equals negative 2x plus 7. And unfortunately, that is my y-intercept up here because it went two boxes above. All right, let's do it again. Find the halfway point. Determine the slope through those lines. This one looks like every time I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I go down 2. So that line through those two points would have a slope of negative 2 over 5. Perpendicular would be the flip-flop of that, and opposite would be 5 halves positive. So now I'm going to go through that line, find that middle point again, and from that middle point I'm going to use that new reciprocal slope. I'm going to go over 2, up 5. So right 2, 1, 2, 3, up 5. Stair step the other way. Draw my line through. And you can see this line has no y-intercept, has a y-intercept of 0. So this line is y equals 5 halves x plus 0, or just plain old y equals 5 halves x. Next problem. Alright, so do it again. Find that halfway point. For these, halfway I could see is right here. And again, halfway, if I was to connect the lines, that would be right here. That is the halfway point. Now, I need to find out the slope of that line that would connect this. And I could see every time I go over 3, I go down 1. So that is a slope of negative 1 third. A perpendicular line will come at that line with the opposite slope of negative one-third. So opposite reciprocal. I'm going to flip that over, make that positive three over one. From that middle point, I'm going to follow that slope over one, up three, over one, up three, over one, up three, over one, up three. Stair step the opposite direction. Draw my line. There you go. So that line would be y equals 3x, and then my y-intercept way up here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looks like plus 
Okay. All right, last one. Middle point, right here. Slope of those two, I can see every time I go over a box, I go up two, so that's a slope of two over one. Negative reciprocal, flipping that and making it opposite. So from that middle point, over one, down two. That's a key right there, I'm sorry, let's fix that. So two. So over two, down one. Over two, down one. Stair step, the opposite direction. Draw your line through them. And you can see the line that would have to be drawn to reflect over that would be y equals negative one half x plus four. Good luck. Just get these done in your packet and show me tomorrow.